Matt and welcome to another book review. Today I am thrilled to be talking about a book that has been taking libraries, bookstores, and now Hollywood by storm. Today I'm talking about The Martian by Andy Weir. In a book that could adequately be described as Apollo 13 meets Castaway, readers meet Mart Wachney in the worst position of his life. Ares 3 is now the third manned mission to Mars. It's taken a about a year to get here, and now that the astronauts are on Mars, they're expected to stay for a month. Only six souls, or Martian days, into the mission, a windstorm happens, Mark gets impaled with an instrument, it knocks out his biosensors, his team thinks that he's dead, so they leave the planet, except he's very much alive. So not only does he have to figure out how to contact NASA to tell him that he's alive and that they need to come and get him, even if they can get him, he needs to figure out how to survive long enough for them to do so, which could be several months, or more like several years. Luckily, Mark is an astronaut with a sarcastic but humorous attitude, and he's armed with knowledge about engineering and botany, so he has the right skill set. But it's not just up to him. There's a hell of a lot standing in his way. A couple million miles, actually. This book was funny and scientific and adventurous, all rolled into one, and that's why it made such a great story. I was completely captivated from sentence one, and it's a story that it grips you. Andy Weir does a fantastic job of balancing the scientific jargon with the fact that he's addressing everyday sort of people, readers in this situation. The science that he has, I'm no expert, but it seems to stand up and people who are much smarter than me agree that a lot of the research that went into this book, it's a top-notch job and you don't get bogged down in too much of it. In fact, at times Watney will say, oh, enough about that, you get the idea, but this is how it worked. So you get to see the science behind the decisions he's making and what he's doing, but you don't have to spend too much time reading this like a textbook. In fact, it doesn't read like a textbook at all. Most of the book is told through Mark's log entries, but you also have views back into what's happening at NASA, what's happening on Earth, and even what's happening with the rest of the Ares 3 crew. Secondary characters are colorful and dynamic and innovative. Some of them don't get as flushed out as I would have liked, but I still felt like each one of them, it was a snapshot of a person and how they all play into this much bigger adventure that is now happening to all of them. I felt like this was plausible, like the way that people reacted in these situations was very believable. And I'm not exactly sure how NAS would handle some of these things, but Mark Watney as an individual felt very much like a real person to me. He has a great sense of humor, but he's sarcastic, and he's grumpy, and he's brilliant, but he's also going a little bit nuts being on his own with literally no one else to talk to for a very extended period of time, so playing into his psychological state. I just really enjoyed this book. This was the latest pick from my students' book club, and they absolutely loved it as well. I can't wait to see the movie. I hear that it holds up pretty well, so I suggest read the book first, see the movie. I think this is just definitely a story worth investing your time in. So again, this is The Martian by Andy Weir. I really enjoyed it. I've already been recommending it to people and it's flying off my library's shelves. It's never checked in. We have multiple copies. They're always, always all gone. All of my usual links are down below. Comments are always welcome. And that's it for me for now. Take care. Bye. I'm currently reading 2 a.m. at the Cat's Pajamas, and if you liked what you saw here today, please like and please subscribe for more.